Uh, Commissioner, the European Week of uh, uh, Cities and Regions, uh, it happens uh, this year in a particular um, situation. Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the role of the cohesion policy in, the, in this new scenario that some, somebody calls a, a perma crisis, a permanent mm -hmm. crisis? What's, what's going to happen? Well, in fact, uh, we have been uh, uh, doing two things at the same time. One is really to pursue our job, our task, which is a long-term one, and we cannot disregard this. This is the core. And, uh, but at the same time, addressing some of the critical issues through this long-term policy. Uh, namely, we give a privilege to energy saving investments, to investments that really uh, are uh, in conformity with the new requirements for being less dependent on imported fuels uh, that have been creating, as you, as you know, lots of problems for us. And so, uh, in fact, we think the way to address energy problems and other problems is to increase the resilience of our society, of our economy and of our territories. The second line is that in spite of this, we have been uh, doing all sorts of adaptations to the normal uh, funding uh, in order to address the emergencies. So we did care and uh, Italy benefited a lot from reprogramming funds to support small companies, to keep the jobs, uh, to buy masks and ventilators to the hospitals, everything that was needed in an emergency. Uh, then we created a certain, a, a second flexibility uh, in order for regions and uh, localities to be able to accommodate the Ukrainian uh, citizens fleeing from the Russian invasion. And now we'll see uh, if we can do something also in relation to the excessive cost of energy. Uh, but in fact, we have got to go back to our car business and our car business is in, uh, in, in uh, triggering a more sustainable development track with more coherence, more convergence and uh, less imbalances inside the country.